Yes, yes, it's Sacha on your screen again and welcome on my video. Um, today I thought it would be a great idea to show you how I prep my face makeup because normally I skip that and go straight on to my eyes but I thought it would be fun to show you how I do the face prep. So let's put some makeup on this face. <laughs> Before I put on anything on my face, I start with a TikTok hack that I saw and I did not um, check the difference really, but I just do it because I think it's a nice way to start your makeup. So f before we put on some makeup and before I do anything else, I need to tell you that I miss three nails. I just have a busy, uh, busy life uh, at the moment, so I did not find the time yet to do the rest of my nails. So. Sorry for that, and on with face. So I put on some face cream. You can use any facial cream you want. This is a day cream, and maybe you can even take a night cream because a night cream is more moisturizing. So you don't want to rub it in until it's dry because immediately after this, you grab your brush, and your setting powder in the mirror and you go in to set the cream and it's supposed to help your primer stay on better and it really helps believe me on with the primer then we go in with the primer from Catrice, Love Skin Respect Earth. I get this in the advent calendar from uh, Catrice and I have uh, videos about that in, on Instagram and reels I made. And so if you want to see that, check my link in the description and we put it on the face. And I really like to rub it a, a bit on this area because here I have the, the most biggest pores and you really want to get rid of that fill them up with your primer don't forget the eyes because I always like to put it also on my eyes the forehead and I always like to pull my hair tight I really don't know why because it's tight enough I think but okay So a little bit on the ears because I like to take that with me and I really like to take a little bit on my neck area because I always like to put a bronzer there. And now the real important thing is just wait a minute or 10, maybe 15, it depends on your primer because you really want to wait until it's dry and sticky. Don't put anything on it immediately after put on your primer because you really, really again want to dry your primer. So we just wait. My primer is dry and we can go on with the makeup. For the shadows in the face, I always like to use a color corrector under my eyes and in this area because I'm a transgender and maybe people know and maybe people don't know. So now you know, and I do have some facial hair here, but I really need to laser it, but I, never mind. So I have some shadow later on the day there a little bit and I use my Morph, Morph, I don't know, color corrector and it's a empty color corrector and it's a red brownish tint. So I ordered a new one too late. So I'm just waiting for my new one. And instead you can use wait a second, a red lipstick. So we're going to use a red lipstick as a color corrector. So you take your red lipstick and you tap slightly on the skin. Not too much because it's not lips and you just want to have a little bit redness and away with the lipstick. So you use your finger and you're going to tap it in and this is really going to help you with dark 
rings on your eyes or shadows in your face. So we're just going to smudge it out. And blend it out, just with a finger. Then you take your setting powder again, a smaller brush, you take your brush in the setting powder and you set the lipstick, the color corrector. Don't put it in your eye. You really want to set it first before you put on a foundation or something else. And then I go in with my foundation and I already told you in another video which one I use, but I tell you again. It's a Facefinity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 foundation. And it's a 3-in-1 primer concealer foundation. And I really did not know that for a long time. But I don't think it's good enough to use without a primer. So do use a primer. Like Nikki Tutorial always says, not is a crime not to prime. And she has right about that. So you put it on a blending beauty blender, a blending blender. You take your mirror and you put it on the face. And I like to take it in a circle motion up to the chin and the upper lip, the nose and underneath the eye. And up to here. I don't know how you call it in English. I would say sleep, but I don't think you call it sleep in English. You call it slap in Dutch, but it's not really the great word in English, I think. And I like to put it on the ear a bit. And this way you really gonna get a clean face. So you, it's really important that you tap it in nice and even so you get it in the pores that are left over from your primer because no primer will fill up every pore on your face so and you see you won't see any redness anymore because the foundation is covering it up on the sides The ear. And I really don't put any foundation on my eye because there we're going to put on later on a primer, also another primer. An eyeshadow primer. So you tap it in, you tap it in. Like your life depends on it. And when you think it's even, you go to your forehead. And I like to put it on the hair. Because later on you can wipe it off and then you have your face makeup, your, your face makeup, your foundation until your hair. Some people uh, watch their hair and then they have a white line there. And that's really not what you want. So you can better put it on your hair and wipe it off then have a white line there. I think that's really not nice. So of course I like to put on a little bit on my neck and I wipe it down. Just give it a little bit extra stickiness for my bronzer later on. Like that. Like that. Then again, we take a big brush. You put it into your setting spray. Setting spray. Your setting powder. And we're going to set the foundation. And I really like to use my powder more than once. That really helps to build up your layers. I believe. Also in my advent calendar from Catrice, I have got a 
concealer drop system and I really love it because you can put a little drop oh, other finger, on your finger, put it aside and tap it underneath your eye, up to your outer corner and just slightly tap it in so you make it a little bit lighter so it pops a bit more and I have a hair from my brush so use a brush that don't lose hair again you take your beauty blender because we have a little bit color on it left and you go in over your concealer so it's not that bright white light and it also helps you to blend the end of your concealer better a smaller brush pull with um, setting powder <laughs> and it's contour time so to contour I use a Revolution Makeup Revolution London and it's a very nice palette and as you can see I use these colors the most I like to tap in the two colors, these colors I hope you can see it I take my mirror and I put it right on my jawline and work it up from my ear and on my ear a bit and just blend it out up and down because I have a real strong jawline and this makes it a little bit softer and also on my chin and it's really important that you blend it out nice and you don't have a dark a dark what? A dark line in your face. So other side and blend it out. The other one was a little bit too much I think so I need to blend it out more. So then I take it again, blow it a bit off and use it up and under your cheekbone because I also have a nice cheekbone of my own so if I put it underneath it it will stick out even more and that's not what we want we want to have it subtle and nice and I have a loose hair again from my big brush so that big brush is going away so we blend it out softly and it's done already then I take my bra my bronze palette. It's also from Revolution Makeup Revolution London and it's a bronze palette. I also like to take ooh, two colors. I really do not know, know why, but I like these colors. So I put it on my brush and I tap it on my hairline. And again I tap it on the hair so I don't have a white line here. So you see? So you tap it and you blend it in the hair and later on you can wipe it off the hair like this. You see? So again a little bit on the brush. I put on my temples. I know they are called temples. So I put it on the temple and I wipe it up. You see? And I blend this whole area out. I put some on the brush on a temple and up and also a bit down to the ear so we have all round sunlight on the face so it's the last time I use this brush because it's has loose hairs and I'm going to get rid of it because it's going to give me loose hair on my face and I hate that so I go in with my Rimmel London natural bronzer I put it on my brush and I tap it on my neck and then 
I wipe it down. And maybe a bit there, just because we can. You see, it's immediately more the same as my jawline. Otherwise, you have gone to your jawline and it's such a difference with your neck and your face. So I really like to do this as an extra. Then I go in with my smaller brush again. I tap it in my blush and I don't know which brand it is because it doesn't say it. So I really don't know which brand it is. And I thought it came in a suitcase or something. So it's really a brandless blush. So you put some on your brush, you wipe it, you blow it off and you put it from your outer corner, so there, on your cheek and you put that back. Outer corner, on your cheek and you put it back. Then you wipe off your brush. I wipe it off on my trousers. But that's not a great idea, so you can better wipe it off on a tissue or something else, but who cares? And then you're going to blend it in, in a round circle motion up to your ear. You blend it in up to your ear, temple, ear area. So, we go, we put away the blush. And we go in with my favorite piece of makeup all of the time. And I take a fan, a fan brush, and I take my Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter. Oh, I love highlighters. So I take my brush and I put it in my highlighter. Then I take my mirror and put it above the blush in an up and down motion. You see? Oh, this is really the best highlighter I found in my entire life. So up and down, up and down and away with the hair like that. Then I take a flat clean eyeshadow brush and I also put the tip over the highlighter and I put it on the bridge of my nose. And also at the point of my nose. And I really like to blend it a bit out with my finger. You also want to put it a little bit in between and above your eyebrows and tap it in with your finger. So this is really an area that normally will glow from the sun. So this is fake glowing from the sun. And I really like to blend this also a bit out. There we have it. Then of course we need to prep for the eyeshadow. So I put my Essence I Love Intensifying Eyeshadow Base on my eyelid and underneath my eyebrow. And every time I put this on, I need to, to think about Evelyn, a friend of mine, and she was laughing her, her butt off because I put this on my entirely, entirely eye, entire eye, and that's really not what you want. So you put on a little bit and not that much. So now I know, Evelyn. <laughs> away with the base and you tap it in with your finger. That's just the easiest way. And it makes it a little bit lighter, but it's really a great base to put on if you are going in with some eyeshadow. It helps you to stick it on your, your eye better and it will be nicer the whole day Believe me. And the last thing I always do before I start putting on eyeshadow are my eyebrows. So 
I have for that a Douglas Brow Stylo Dual Tip Eyebrow Pencil and it has a brush and it has a pencil and first of all I like to brush my brows the right way and I don't like to brush them up so you get this hairline-ish stuff I really do not like that so I like to brush it just the way my brow go goes then I like to put my pencil and I slightly make my eyebrow a little bit darker my pencil is just a little bit darker than my eyebrow is because I think my eyebrow is great the way it is the color and shape also I shape my own eyebrow always so I like to make it a little bit more tinted and also of course as you know my videos I like to make it a little bit longer Then I wipe off from above to make it sharper. Then we close it with a lid and we go back with the brush to make it an even eyebrow. You blend the color a little bit out by brushing it. And I really think that I need to take away a little bit of my under hairs here and here because I think my eyebrow is going to be a bit too thick this way and I like to have a sharp one so I think it's nice for now so this is really the base I do before I start putting on some eye shadow and I hope you liked it and I hope you can pick some things out to use yourself and I go put on some eyeshadow now and I'll be right back and here we have it all the way done what do you think I love it so it's my daily normal makeup without wings or extreme looks so this is it for today oh yeah before I go I really want to tell you that I have a video before this a giveaway so if you want to win nail polish sets of three I give away two sets then you really want to check my other video I put a link down there so you can see it and maybe you want to win and see that video so that's it for today i really would love you to give me the thumbs up if you like this video subscribe on my channel and maybe you like to go to my tiktok or my instagram channel you can find the links in the descriptions and i really would love you to give me uh, a message so please send me a message so i can give you a message back i really love interaction with my viewers so i would love that i wish you a very nice day and i go and mine. See you in my next video. Bye!